morning. I am back on the Appalachian Trail. I am filling in a little gap of 1.7 miles one way from Goose Pond Road to Moose Mountain. So it'll be 3.4 miles round trip and we'll close a gap between roads on the trail. I'm setting myself up to close in all these little gaps so that when I have my week off between contracts in August, I will have a definitive starting point to get on the trail so that I can hike north for like 50 to 60 miles on my break. So yeah, currently I have a 22.3 mile incremental uh, hikes that I need to do between now and August. I have like five weeks to do these different little bits of trail that total 22.3 miles. And today is Thursday, so I don't have all day to hike because I have an appointment at four o'clock. Um, so 3.4 miles hopefully won't take more than three and a half hours. Although I'm not expecting it to take that long because the terrain right now, I'm closer to Hanover and the terrain down here is not quite as steep as, <laughs> not even close to being as steep as the White Mountains. And so, yeah, I don't think it will take more than three and a half hours total. Anyway, that's what's happening today. Water. I remembered my bear bell. I have it on my trekking pole and it's 
much as I want to see a bear, I want the bear to know that I'm coming and hopefully that will keep the bear at a safe distance watching me in the trees. But I still hope I get to see one one of these days. That looks like new blowdown and it is up to my hips. So here we go. <sighs> Made it. Summer has finally happened in the Northwoods here in New Hampshire. It's supposed to be in the 80s today and it's definitely humid, but I don't mind. It's not blazing heat. It's not the blazing furnace that is Phoenix, Arizona. little piece of advice. My niece Whitney loves hiking in the woods and she loves to photograph mushrooms and she loves it so much I think she puts her hands all over them because she contracted a fungal virus probably from all the mushrooms that she handles to photograph out in the woods. So keep that in mind if you're a fan of searching for edible mushrooms. It is a fungus and apparently can give you a fungal infection. I'm a nurse. I wouldn't have guessed it. So there you go. view and it's a beautiful one it's really nice out the day started out foggy and as you can see the fog has burned off except for my glasses <laughs> already and there is a trail maintenance crew up here working hard to make the trail beautiful and nice. Good morning. Thanks for working hard. Yeah, we got a little bit of a mud pit going on here. That's all right. Hold up for a second. Yeah, we'd love to. Come on through. I'm just doing this, filling in this little gap. Yeah. <laughs> So goes, nice. If you can get to those and then get to there, then it won't be too yeah. muddy, I think. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for doing all the hard work. Don't Appreciate it. <laughs> right. I made it to the place where I stopped on Moose Mountain. And now I'm headed back down. The good news is 
it's all downhill now. <laughs> so, and I made it up to the top in like an hour and 15 minutes, I think. I, it didn't take long. It didn't take long to make it to the top. Like, uh, yeah. I think it was more 1.7 miles in maybe an hour and 15 minutes, maybe. So, I mean, the trail's a little bit slippery because there was a thunderstorm last night, so all the rocks are wet, but that's okay. I'm headed back down and I got this one little 1.7 mile section finished and yeah you guys it either within the next two hikes I will be hitting the 200 mile milestone and I will be under <laughs> 2,000 miles left to hike the trail. That's exciting. I might be 75 till I finish the trail, but hey. One mile at a time. And uh, yeah, like the saying goes, the last one to Katahdin wins. So I just found out that the uh, trail crew is working for the summer with the Dartmouth Outing Club. It's a summertime job. And one of the girls on the crew stays at the QSP. And she's like, oh, I think I know who you are. <laughs> she's like, Where, do you stay around the corner in that very first, um, that very first campsite? And I said, I have been there, yes. <laughs> so that was fun. I've reached this part of the trail where it's a bunch of really big rock ledges and I'm just trying to take my time because it did rain last night and I don't know if it's slippery rock because I hit some really slippery rock up in Franconia and that turned out to be red slate. I didn't know there was such a thing. This is like, uh, I mean, it's, oh, oh, see, oh, 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 oh. See, that scared me. Just a little bit slippery. All right, I'm gonna turn this thing off. Right, three and a half miles in two hours and 26 minutes. That's not terrible. And I got that little chunk taken care of now. And now I think there are only four little pieces of trail to connect me from here to Mount Musalak and oh that might even that might even include going from uh, Pinkham no 
I don't know, Kinsman Notch, yes, Kinsman Notch to the backtracking up to Mount Moose Lock so that I can connect that. And uh, I have about five weeks before I do my big section hike of the trail. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down. And if you want to, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys again next time out on the trail.